Hey folks, in this video, I'm going to classify general anesthetic agents, also known as induction agents. And uh, I'm going to give you some uh, good pointers about probably each of the drugs in this uh, video. It's very useful for uh, pharmacology students and anesthesiology residents as well. Let's get into the broad classification. The broadly broad classification is inhalational agents and intravenous induction agents. Among the inhalational, we have gases and volatile agents. The volatile agents will eventually become gases and they cause general anesthetic effect. Among the gases, we have two, ga two gases available. One is the nitrous oxide, the other is xenon. Nitrous oxide has been used for many, many years, but now it's fallen out of favor, mainly for the reasons that it may cause cardiovascular uh, side effects and uh, its uh, use is limited in patients with closed cavities where it can expand. Uh, the famous Enigma trial proved this and since then it has fallen out of favor and is used less frequently as was used before. The other drug is, uh, the other gas rather, is xenon and xenon is uh, very costly to produce and that limits the effect but this is the near ideal gaseous general anesthetic agent that we have at this point in time. The, among the volatile agents, let's go on to volatile agents. We have a few medications uh, or volatile agents that I've mentioned here. The top four, the cyclopropane, trichloroethylene, ether, methoxyfluorine are not used anymore. Halothane, isoflurane, desflurane, and sevoflurane are in use, of which halothane and isoflurane is all, are also used less frequently, and desflurane and sevoflurane are used more rampantly, especially in developed countries. Among the intravenous, I've broadly classified again uh, these drugs into fast acting and slower acting. The fast acting drugs would mean that the onset of action is quite fast as short as 45 seconds to one minute and that will be equivalent to one arm brain circulation time which means that when a drug is given <coughs> into the intravenous uh, route at the hand or the arm the time it takes for that to travel to the brain is one arm brain circulation time which is about 45 seconds to one minute and we have three classes of drugs here barbiturates examples being thiopentone sodium methoxytone sodium, isopropyl, uh, isopropyl phenols, example being propofol, imidazole, example being etomidate. Few pointers about thiopentone sodium. It was widely used, now uh, less widely used because we have better drugs and it has some cardiovascular side effects and longer lasting uh, general anesthetic effect and those are the two negative points about thiopentone. It's more often used in barbiturate coma in ICU patients with traumatic brain injuries than as a general anesthetic agent. The isopropyl phenol, propofol, is the most widely used general anesthetic agent and it has a good uh, effect on the loss of uh, pharyngeal reflexes and that will be making it more suitable for using devices like LMA while under general anesthesia. The downside of propofol is uh, its effect on blood pressure. It causes hypotension secondary to systemic vasodilatation. The third drug that we have in this class of fast-acting intravenous general anesthetic agents is imidazole compound called etomidate, which has slightly better uh, profile than propofol in terms of hemodynamic stability. And so it is used, but less frequently so. Uh, but the downside of etomidate is the adrenocortical suppression that it might cause, and that's why it's less frequently used. The next group of intravenous general anesthetic agents is uh, the benzodiazepines. And uh, examples are diazepam, lorazepam, and mirazolam. They are the slower intravenous anesthetic agents. A pointer for you to note is that these drugs that I have mentioned so far, starting from the gases, volatile agents, the fast-acting intravenous agents, and the benzodiazepines, all of them have their mechanism of action at the GABA-A receptor. So the site of action for these medications are GABA-A receptor. 
The rest of the medication that I'm going to explain have a different side of uh, action, and I will mention as I go one by one. The next group of drugs is uh, or opioids, which I've already mentioned, morphine, fentanyl, and remifentanyl. And their side of action is, of course, opioid receptors. They have slower action. The next group of drugs are dissociate anesthetics, uh, example being ketamine. Ketamine is a fencyclidine derivative, and it causes dissociate anesthesia. The dissociation that we are talking about is between tela telamus and cortex. So it's called telomocortical dissociation. Uh, it's a very good drug in the sense that initially it will uh, release the, it will have sympathomimetic activity. And so it's a bit more cardio stable than uh, drugs like propofol or etomidate. But the downside again is that it may increase the heart rate and blood pressure, but when the intrinsic catecholamine stores are exhausted, it may have cardiac inhibition effect. The last group of drugs we are talking about are alpha-2 agonists, example being dexmedetomidine. This has more of sedative, analgesic, and anxiolytic effect than a general anesthetic effect. So it can be used as an adjuvant along with other general anesthetics. The doses of this medication is an infusion of 0.2 to 0.7 micrograms per kilo per hour after an initial dose of one mic per kilo bolus dose. The good uh, characteristic of this drug is that it will prevent any respiratory depression. So even at higher doses, the breathing is preserved. But the downside of this medication, it has effect on the cardiovascular system and it causes hypotension and bradycardia. So it should be used with caution. That's in general about the classification generalistics. I'm gonna quickly go through the classification again uh, so that it can memorize for examinations and viva sake. Generally classified into inhalational, intravenous, inhalational gases, nitrous oxide, xenon, inhalational volatile agents, cyclopropane, trichloroethylene, ether, methoxyfluorine, halothane, isoflurane, desflurane, sevoflurane. Fast acting intravenous, barbiturates, thiopentone, sodium, methoxetone, isopropyl phenols, propofol, imidazole compound, atomidate. Benzodiazepines, diazepam, lorazepam, midazolam. Opioids, morphine, fentanyl, remifentanyl. Dissociate anesthetic, ketamine. Alpha-2 agonist, dexmedetomidine. That's all about the classification of general anesthetics. Happy learning. Thank you.